we're asked to select which describes the summer difference. So we want to determine whether the summer difference is greater than zero, meaning it's positive, less than zero, meaning it's negative, or equal to zero. So the first sum is negative four plus negative four. One way to determine this sum is to think of this in terms of money, where a negative number would be a loss, or you lose money, and a positive number would be a gain, or you win money. So negative four plus negative four can be thought of losing four dollars because of the negative four, and then adding another loss of four dollars because you're adding negative four, which results in a loss of eight dollars, and therefore the sum is negative eight. So because this sum is negative, we check here that it's less than zero. We can also model these sums using color counters, where we let one red counter be equal to negative one, and one yellow counter be equal to positive one. Notice together, they would combine to make zero. So for negative four plus four, we start with four red counters for the negative four, then because we have plus negative four, we add four more red counters, which notice how it results in eight red counters, which shows that negative four plus negative four is equal to negative eight. Moving to the next sum, we now have four plus negative four. So using the money analogy, because of the positive four, you win or gain four dollars, and then you add negative four, which means you add a loss of four dollars, or you lose four dollars. So if you win four dollars and then lose four dollars, you would have zero dollars, and therefore the sum is zero. So four plus negative four is equal to zero. Modeling this using color counters, we start with four yellow counters because we start with positive four, and then we add four red counters because we're adding negative four, which we see here. But remember, every red and yellow combine to make zero, so we have zero, 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 and zero, which shows four plus negative four is equal to zero. Next, we have four minus negative four. Now using the money analogy, because of the positive four, we win or gain four dollars, and then because it's minus negative four, we take away a loss of four dollars. Taking away a loss of four dollars is really like giving you four dollars. So four minus negative four simplifies to four plus four, which equals eight. And we can see this here below using the formal rules as well. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. But again, using the money analogy, we say that taking away or subtracting a loss would be the same thing as gaining four dollars. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So this result is going to be positive or greater than zero. Using the color counters, we begin with four yellow counters because we begin with positive four. Now because we have minus negative four, we want to take away or remove four red counters, which we don't have, which means we have to add several zeros so that we can take away or remove four red counters. So notice how these four red counters and these four yellow counters would combine to make zero. So as a set, we still have positive four, but in this form, we can now take away or remove four red counters. And we do this, notice how the result is eight yellow counters, which shows four minus negative four is equal to positive eight. Our last difference is negative four minus four, and just as before, we can always write a subtraction problem as an addition problem. Subtracting b is the same as adding negative b, so if it's helpful, we can write this as negative four plus negative four, which is the same as this first sum. So you're thinking of this in terms of money. You lose four dollars, and then you add another loss of four dollars. You're down eight dollars, and therefore this sum, as well as this difference, is negative eight which is less than zero. One last time using the color counters. For negative four minus four, we start with four red counters for the negative four. And because we have minus positive four, we want to remove or take away four yellow counters, which we don't have. So once again, we have to add zeros. So notice how we added four zeros here. So we still have negative four here, but in this form we can now remove or take away four yellow counters to model subtracting positive four. If we remove these four yellow counters, notice how we have a total of eight red counters, which shows negative four minus four equals negative eight.
which once again shows that the difference is negative or less than zero. I hope you found this helpful.